Hey guys, now I'm going to talk about Juden Sentai Kyoryuji. Now, from what I can see, from what I saw in the show as of right now, episode 8, from what I can tell, episode 8, it's really a great, great show. I mean, I mean, I I don't know what to say. I, mean, I know there's a bunch of Sentai shows that we like, you know, there's some I like, you know, but this one kind of steals it for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know, it's the pacing, you know. It's not like, you know, in most episodes where it's just, it drags, you know. It's like, it's like nothing new is happening, you know. It's not hitting that love spot, you know, that new investment. Like, oh, this is really shocking, you know. This one does it. Now, the other shows, um, what was it? Bakuru Sentai Abba Ranger and, um, Kyoru Sentai Juranger. Um... That show, well, um, Jew Ranger, you know, it started really good, you know, but during, like, five, maybe six episodes, you know, it kind of drags because, I mean, yeah, you already know that their char the characters are there, you know, I mean, you already know who their names are, but we don't get into their backstory, you know, like, you know, like, for example, they did an episode of, um, of Gosh or Goshi, whatever his name is, you know, but his backstory about he was, a, he actually had a sister, an older sister, and was killed during the battle and, and sacrificed herself for him to get out. So, that was a short backstory, but I accepted that, but the other characters, none of it, except for Geki, you know, the whole backstory about Geki was not supposed, was not originally the prince, the Yab Yabato tribe prince. It was actually his brother, Burai, which is a uh, uh, Jew, uh, Green uh, oh, Dragon Ranger. Green Dragon Ranger. And Abba Ranger, um, <coughs> Abba Ranger. So, it it was kind of like the same thing, but you get more backstory of him. Like, like with um, the red guy, I forgot his name, I'm, I apologize if I don't know his name, but... Basically, you know, he's basically like a like a father to his niece, or well, I don't know. Like I'm assuming it's his niece, but he kind of treats her like a daughter, you know, because you know, because she looks at to him like a dad, which is a good thing. And then the blue guy suits uh, Yokito Seiju Yokito. I forgot his first name. And he's a chiropractor, and we hear our backstory about why he didn't want to do this, you know, and decided to move on. Actually, had a girlfriend, I think. I don't know. This one, it works really well in, in uh, Kyo Ryuger. You already know who the characters are. I mean, the first episode, you know the, the backstory of Daigo, about what his, his um, purpose is, you know, and then... Let's see, the next two, the second episode, you figure out who, um, um, who is it, who, you figure out who, um, Amy and, um, Amy's backstory and, um, Nobu Haru, the blue guy, um, his, excuse me, his backstory. And basically, um, Noboru, the blue guy, his backstory is that, you know, he's taking care of his sister and his niece, you know, so that way they won't get hurt and killed. Amy's backstory is that she, um, <clears throat> she's a good fighter. She really is, you know. You know, it's like, oh, well, she's just this prissy prissy. No, 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 no. She can be when she's faking it. You know, when she's trying to hide the fact that she is a uh, Kyoruger when she's Kyoru Pink. And then when you see her in action, she really kicks a major ass, but looking fucking hot as hell. She is so damn cute. And then uh, episode four, was it episode four? Yeah, episode four, you get the, um, I think, no. No, 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 episode three is when you figure um, Soji, Kyoru Green. Now, Soji's my favorite, well, one of my favorites, at a Kyoru the characters. You know, because his backstory is, you know, that he abandoned his father, you know, because he hated his father because of his mother, I think, left, or she was dead from some sickness I don't know about. And at the end, you know, he forgives his dad and that he's still doing the training that he always did, you know, even though he's aware he's alone or with the group. My favorite is Ian, the black guy. Not 
an African American, Kyoru Black. His backstory is really cool. He kind of reminds me of um, Guy from um, Jetman. And you can tell too because it's basically, you know, he's this Casanova type guy who's trying to hit the ladies. You know, it's like, hey, baby, you want to date with me and all that? That's what Guy basically was in Jetman. This one's the same thing, but it's good. And the best part is his backstory because he's a, he was a, a detective. His partner was played by Gunpei from Go Onger, and when I saw him there, I was like, oh, fuck yes. Gunpei. I love Gunpei. Um, so then, then there's another one, in the characters of Ramirez, who's basically a spirit who's an American and speaks Japanese. And he is Kyoru Saiyan. And that's pretty cool, you know, it's like, oh, wait, this this is a new color. It's like, oh, this is pretty fucking cool. But this one, he doesn't use the Gaburu, the, what's it called? The Gaburu revolver. He just uses the An Ankidon beast battery, which is the Judenchi. And he says, you know, brave in, and then spirit ranger fire, and turns into Kyoru Saiyan, which looks pretty cool, I have to admit. And now to the Juden Ryu. The Juden Ryu are really, really cool looking. I like them. My favorite out of all of them would have to be Gabutier. I mean, I'm a T-Rex guy. I love T-Rexes. And I like the color red, so... But this one I, I liked better than... Um, um, what was it? The Bakaru, um, Terra, Bakaru Tirano. And the... Um, what was the one in Jew Ranger? Um, Jew Tirano, I think. Jew Tirano. I thought, well, Jew Tirano looks cool and all, but he looked kind of small and not kind of big, you know. But he did a lot of damage, but he kind of looked scrawny. Bakaru Tirano um, is big, but not like smaller. He looks kind of beefy, but not like in a, um, like a, oh my god, he's a gigantic motherfucker type. Gautier, he's fucking big. I mean, holy fuck. As soon as he goes down the city, everything just, psh, like, dust and stuff flies up. It's like, holy fuck. They got it right, right there. So, um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I like Stagochi. You know, I like, uh, Drykira. My favorite, Parasagun is pretty cool too because you know he can shoot guns or well, bullets out of his out of his ass basically and Zuckator is my favorite you know my second favorite because it's a velociraptor and that might be it but no I think the reason why I like it is because of his attack you know his tail like splits in like three so his tail becomes a claw and he just jumps around spins around and that's just fucking cool and I like that um so far, I would say more, but I, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is a really good show. It's a great show, to be honest. And if you guys are wanting to, a not like a but not saying if you're looking for a better uh, Sentai show with dinosaurs. I mean, there's I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Jew Ranger and Abu Ranger is good too, but this one steals it. I mean, it's just really cool and it's real. It's really great, and I recommend it to any Super Sentai fan that wants to see this. So, if you see it on, um, um, well, if you're not in Japan, but if you try to, if you ever try to find the sub, the sub versions of them, I recommend it. I, re I recommend watching the TV Nihon subs, be, um, the uh, subs, because they're really good. I like their subtitles. You know, it's a lot more better than many other sub um, parts. Like, you know, like overtime subs and other places that, 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 I don't know, it's just generic fucking t subtitles. Like, oh, it's not, yeah, no. So, I highly recommend watching it, guys. I mean, this is a really great show, and you will not miss that. So, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.